Have you only got limited funds and you're tossing up which drone to buy and you thought, gee, I wish I had something that could bind some safe prop guards of a whoop, but I also want the crazy power of a toothpick? Well, stay tuned because this drone is right up your alley. Stu from UAV Futures here and today, well, I'm excited, I'm feeling good, we're in the studio feeling funky and fresh because of what we're checking out, it is the Happy Model Lava X HD. Now, traditionally, I'm going to put a little post up there. Happy Model has absolutely crushed it when it comes to their drones, their designs, the things they do. Let's look at some of the pedigree that these drones have because you're going to be very, very excited to see this thing. And I have high hopes. This thing better perform because based on what we've had, we've had the Mob 7, which was one of the most impressive brushless whoops we ever saw back in the day. They followed up with the Mob 6 a year later. They've done the Lava X, which was a little screamer that would fly around. And now we've got a little HD version for capturing some HD footage and it is doing some things drastically different it is almost like a transformer drone and i'm going to say a lot of people if you're looking at a sort of drone between toothpick style and something with ducks this one it's going to be right up your alley so what this is as a bit of an overview it is a hd recorder so it's got inbuilt hd you can record with the little baby turtle that it's got in here and if we stick it on the scales we, i'm going to guess it's about 100 grams but we will find out that's my guess anyway let's turn these scales on 100, yeah, I'm gonna guess 100 grams, let's see. Maybe even lighter. Ooh, 120 grams right there. And what this is, this is a little screamer that hopefully it runs on a 3S battery. You can take this thing out, rip it around. It's toothpick style when you look at the shape that it's got, but the big one, it's almost like a transformer drone because it comes with a whole bunch of optional extras and I hope this battery comes with it because we even get a Tasu battery in here. But what you can do, you can put this little canopy on the top and then you can install these prop guards on here that come with it and now you've got kind of like something that's got prop guards flying around. You could use this indoors if you tame the power down or something and it's gonna be a lot safer. So uh, whether you wanna go toothpick style, whether you wanna go the whoop style, this one because of its special frame design, you can go both. You've got two options in the way you set this drone up. And I've got to say, I think that is very, very cool. Most of the time, drones, they can't sort of alternate between the roles that they want to fulfill. This one looks like it's going to be doing it well. So in the design phase, it's going to be getting a lot of points. Let's do it. Let's go through some of the components. Start at the outside end, of course, we've got our unibody base plate. I don't fairly standard stuff. You know, we've just got some standard bi-blade props on the outside. 1203s, which are an interesting choice uh, size of motor. It's 6,200 kV. It's probably going to be suited I think for a 3S, it should be ripping through the air. Towards the middle, of course, we just got our 4M1, our beta flight OSD, all the standard stuff you'd expect in today's drones. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, one exciting piece, though, we've got our changeable VTX, which is different to some of the other ones out there. A lot of toothpicks only have a 25 milliwatt VTX, so this one you should be getting a fair bit better range. And the other part as well, which is interesting, it's got the baby turtle in here, which means you should be getting some recorded HD footage, or I like to say, some recorded HD footage for these people who like to tease my accent out there, but yeah, you're gonna be able to get some onboard footage. So if you're flying around filming, you don't have to strap a GoPro to this thing. You don't have to do anything besides put an SD card in here and you've got some beautiful footage to take home, share with your friends, upload to YouTube, whatever you wanna do with that. But usually I've gotta say a little caveat on the flip side, the FPV feed isn't traditionally as good when it comes to the brightness of the colors, all that sort of stuff. But that's where we go out of the field, we fly it around, we have some fun, sit with the other boys think, and we show you the DVR so we can find out just how well it goes. Now design wise, I gotta say I love it. 10 out of 10 for the design because this drone, usually I like to say, this knows what it wants to be, it fulfills its purpose well. This one, it has two purposes and it fulfills them both well. Whether you wanna use ducks and change the canopy style that you put on right here, or whether you wanna go crazy toothpick style outdoors, this is probably the format that I'm gonna be using because I picture it's gonna be screaming through the air, but giving us this option to easily switch over and the way the frame is compatible by moving the camera up into the top of this little piece right here and screwing this down is just, it's kind of genius. And I'd expect, to be honest, no less from Happy Model because they are one of the companies that seem to consistently be crushing it when it comes to cheaper drones that perform very, very well that are being mass produced in China. Now what we should do, let's talk about the quality of the thing and flight performance. I can't talk about that till out. we're out in the field. We'll see how that goes. But I gotta say, it looks well designed. They've got a good track record. I like that they've got um, a HD recorder on here, but we'll just have to see what the FPV actually looks like. And I've got mine with an XM Plus in here, but I'd probably 
like to switch that over now to the TBS Tango 2 so we can get a little bit better range as well. And of course, uh, we have our little, it's nice that we don't have a little dipole antenna on the back. We've got a circular polarized antenna, but I'm gonna have to zip tie that down because I think that's gonna be getting clipped or something if it lands in the way of the props. Let's move on finally, talk about the pros and the cons. Pros, I'm gonna guess that this thing is gonna be extremely quick, so I can't wait to see the flight performance. Happy model very rarely disappoints when it comes to things screaming through the air with a lot of power. Um, the price, it seems reasonable. I love the battery that you get with it, and hopefully this comes with all of them because this, I'm gonna say, Tattoo seems to make some great batteries out there, so I'm excited to be putting that on there. I like that it can switch between whoop style to toothpick style. The only thing I'm gonna say is a bit of a letdown for me is we've got, and we've also got HD, but I wanna see just how clear is that FPV video or how bright are the colors because that's been some of my biggest complaints when it comes to, uh, I guess, these combo cameras. The FPV feed can look a little bit drab, but that's it on the bench. Let's go find out exactly how drab or how uh, drastic or maybe even how amazing that camera goes. Let's go have some fun, see what the other boys think as well, and yeah, show you this little thing in action. So let's go do it and have some fun in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field. We're gonna do it with the happy model HD. Rip it around. I've actually driven out to Jono's place and this park looks amazing. So I'll have some fun, see what it's like and see what he thinks about it as well. So let's do it, have some fun, show you some HD footage and find out is this the bee's knees or uh, just average. Let's do it in three, two, one. Whoop. Radio, here we go. A few things to sort of clarify. We're going to be checking out Jono's FPV feed so you can see what the FPV feed looks like and what the colors look like when he's flying around. What I wanted to do, this is the onboard HD that you're seeing. So if you are interested in a tiny little craft that can record some HD footage, this is what we're going to be looking at. And let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. And we're also going to be talking about the flight performance, the pros, cons, all that sort of stuff as we go through here. So first things first, the colors on this micro camera, I got to say, in the HD recording, it looks fantastic flying this Thing around yes it's not as good as a gopro a with stabilization none of that rubbish that's on there but when you look at this and you look at the size of our little craft what it's actually doing if you want something you can just take out of your little backpack you might have like your little lunch hour you want to get some footage as well of your flights and you want to share it upload it to youtube for me I think this is absolutely more than enough. You don't need to drop the $500 or whatever it is to get a new GoPro and the craft that can carry it. If this is all you're after, then I think absolutely this is gonna be ticking those boxes. I put it this way, I would be more than happy to be sharing this footage on my channel anyway. So the other part we should talk about is the actual flight performance. I'm gonna give it to Jono here because he's, uh, he's being very trustworthy. He's like, yeah, we're gonna orbit him. And then uh, I decided to shoot the gap, which was uh, probably not the best idea. Definitely don't be doing that, but let's talk about the flight performance of it. And for me, this is where I was expecting more. I wanted more camera up tilt. I wanted more power, but I was really only getting about a seven out of 10. Yes, you can still do acro. Yes, you can still do some crazy, I guess, acro maneuvers, power loops, all that sort of stuff. And it might be more suited to indoors, but happy model for me makes them just stellar, just balls to the wall, crazy performance drones, especially in the micro form. And I was probably expecting a little bit too much out of this craft. I wanted it to be a rocket and it only felt like a race car. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you want to fly but for me yeah about a, a 7 out of 10 it definitely wasn't uh blowing my socks off in terms of flight performance it was just a nice easy smooth steady drone that was fun to fly but uh yeah it wasn't a rocket ship so anyway what we should do let's hand it over to wingman Jono. so what he thinks about it i gotta say overall just a, a fun drone with some definitely some cool colors when it comes to the hd recorder let's hand it over to wingman Jono and see what he thinks as well and you guys can also check out the dvr feed and see uh what the fbv feed looks like so let's do that in three two one radio wingman Jono. so this is the happy model lava hd thing so we had the original lava x which was the bomb but now we've got the HD version. So it's got like the inbuilt HD recorder, all that sort of stuff. So mm. you kind of like the micros, first impressions? Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's for a HD, that's really light. That is, that's, that's really light. I think that's one of the struggles with um, getting HD in the micros so far is keeping that weight down. I see it's using that baby turtle. I haven't seen one of them before and that's that's really light. So yeah, this thing should um, hook around pretty good for a HD rig. Normally yep. they're a little bit, little bit sluggish because of that extra weight. So yep. it'll be yeah. interesting to see what you think about the camera too. Because in the past, mm. often we have, pro it's not as nice as a standard Yeah, it's, FPV it's just not quite as crisp as like, you know, something like a, a Predator or a, um, oh, what's the other one? The, the Run cam or something yeah, like yeah, that. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, um, give it a rip around, see how it goes. Yeah, right, let's do it. And, and I'm sorry, I've got limited batteries, so you've got a bit of a an older battery, but you can uh, bet you can deal with it, brother. Oh yeah, I yeah. use the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Whew.
Did you get video breakup? A little bit, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, hey, talk to me. Alrighty, uh, just getting uh, getting uh, used to your radio and the drone. Um, yeah, so so far, like um, flying it around. Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk a bit about camera first because I'm staring right at it, and that yep. seems easy. Um, so yeah, with the uh, with the HD camera, it's um, still a little bit blurry, but um, not quite. It's 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 a lot more crisp than the other versions, like the um, like the older uh, run cam splits and the um, the original turtle. Like definitely much better than those, so it's looking a bit nicer in that regard. Is it better than the other normal non-FPV cams though? Uh, it's still not as good as like a Rattel or a Predator. Okay. Yeah, Rattels and Predators, those kinds of ones, or the, uh, the run cam Eagles just um, yeah, walk all over this kind of in terms of clarity. In terms of how it flies, um, like it, you do have a bit of an old battery in here and I can feel that it's, it feels limited not by the drone, it feels limited by the battery flying crisp and stuff like that it's just a little bit sluggish because that um don't have quite as much juice in this um in this battery as you normally would feels smooth very controllable very crisp um i think that it would make a quite a fun one for oh gee whiz what happened it's just uh don't have as much pull out okay. because of the battery <laughs> It just dropped voltage and I, yeah, I was struggling. Uh, who would you recommend this one for? Hey, this is um this great little like park flyer, I reckon. We're having fun in the park. It's sipping around nicely. If you get some HD footage. Would you pick this over your normal Lava X, though? Uh, it would depend on what my goal was, I reckon. If the HD footage comes out of this looking really nicely and you were like more into like freestyling but you had some tight spots, then I'd pick this. But um, the original Lava X was just fun to belt around, man. It was. So in terms of raw, just belting around, having a ball, I'd have to pick the original one. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think there's anything particularly wrong. It's not like outstanding. It's not blowing my pants off with speed or power or anything like that. Um, yeah, but okay. yeah, it's just, um, it's just nice and smooth, fun to fly, easy to fly. It doesn't seem hard. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Happy models, Lava HD, what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, like, um, uh, it's fun to fly, it's, yeah, not, like, super exciting or anything like that. I reckon it's, like, in terms of flight and stuff, it's, uh, pretty sort of just on the average sort of mark, it is. You're not going to be disappointed by it, but you're not going to have a super thrill. And, um, yeah, if the HD footage comes out good, then that's probably a bonus to it. It's amazing. Yeah. Nice. Alright, thanks, man. No worries. Rightio, so there it is. There's my review of the Happy Model Lava X HD, and did it live up to the hype, and I'm going to say... Well, for me, this one just was a bit of a letdown. It was an average drone, but I was expecting something from the pedigree style of the original Lava X, of the Mob 6, of the Mob 7. Happy Model absolutely destroys it in a good way when it comes to making fun little bind and fly micro drones. But the Lava X HD just uh, didn't really float my boat too much. It was just, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't uh, off the charts crazy exciting. And that's what I was hoping for. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Drop your comments down below. Share some love for Wingman John. A beautiful day we finally got some good weather out there but it's back to raining outside outside now which kind of sucks but anyway subscribe for more fpv related content and uh, as always happy flying